Andre? Yeah, it is. Hello, Andre. This is Dr. Azriel. Oh, shit. Um, sorry, doctor. I was just, um, why are you calling? Your test results came back from the blood samples. Oh, they did, yeah. Um, how's everything looking? Well, it's not something I want to discuss over the phone, but I want you to know you may have an urgent problem. Urgent? What's, uh, what's, what's urgent? The blood samples, Andre. I need to talk to you in person, soon. Doctor, why, what, what's urgent? Why, why is it urgent? Andre, we need you to come in as soon as possible. What the fuck does urgent mean? I'm sorry, I just, I didn't know who else to turn to. That's all right, Andre. As you know, this is a safe space. Mom and Dad are gone. Friends went distant. <laughs> haven't been to church in years. You haven't stepped in my office for a year either. Yeah, but I didn't need to. I had everything under control. I had it all together, at least for a year or so. You did, didn't you? I thought I did. That wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. So what's wrong, Andre? What made you come back? Something happened. Something really bad happened. Yes? I don't know. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. What's not a good idea? Sitting here, talking. Why not? It feels like a crutch, like, like I'm crippled or, or mentally handicapped. I should be doing something right now. Like what? Anything, anything else, anything other than sitting and talking. Isn't that what you came here to do? I came here because I thought you could help. When I look back on it, talking to you never did me much good. When I look back on it, not much has changed since the last we spoke. So the same man I was dealing with the same issues, what good did talking do? Still dealing with your anger then? Listen, I did something really bad to someone I really cared about. She was someone I really cared about, and, and she really cared about me. And I did something to her, something I shouldn't have. I, I can't bring myself to say it, but, but let's just say I got really loud with her, and, and let's just say I said something to her. I hurt her really bad. What did you say? Hurtful things. Things no one should say to someone they love. But why, Andre? Why did you hurt her? Because... Because I wanted to be somebody. What do you mean? I wanted to be someone great. I wanted to be someone people respected and admired. I wanted to be known for something. I wanted to be strong. And she made me feel the opposite. She made me feel small. And so now she's gone. Yeah. Listen, the last time we spoke, I told you about my condition. Yes, you did. And you told me you weren't worried about it. Yeah. Turns out, I wasn't meant for greatness after all. It turns out, I never had much of a chance to begin with. Everything I ever wanted to be, it's like a tree falling without a sound. So now what? So now, what do I do? I spent my entire life chasing after an idea of myself that I'll never get to see. I pushed away everyone I loved for a hopeless cause, and now that that's gone, what do I do? What do you want to do? With whatever time I have left, I want to do what's right. But how? You know, Andre, earlier you said something very interesting. 
You said nothing changed for you, from the last time we spoke a year ago to the time you stepped into this office. Out of all the advice, all the insight I could give you to help you, nothing could fix your condition, right? Right. But yet, here you are, back in this room, a year later, asking for the same advice, insight, answers, and even now, you know whatever I say isn't going to work for you in the long run. At least you doubt it will. I mean, I guess you're right. But here I am, Andre, ready to give you that wisdom you're looking for. Because deep down, you just want one moment where you feel like you have it all together. You want me to hold you up, just for one short moment. And here I am to do it for you. The way I see it, Andre, we do the right thing by doing what we can for the people we care about, no matter how small it is. What can I do? Only you can know that. I know I did a lot of wrong to you. And I know I can't take back what I said and did. I spent all the time we had together chasing after everything that wasn't you. And when you got in the way, I pushed you aside. So I know I can't change the past, but I came here because I want you to know that I'm thankful for everything that you did for me. And I didn't want another day to go by where I wasn't thankful for you. If there's only one thing that I get to be remembered for in this life, it's that I let you know that what you did was right. And I thank you.